Hello, my boogieing plumbers, and welcome to Memory Lane Gaming. Today we will continue through Super Mario Bros. 3. We will be doing part 2 of the Ice World, which is World 6. Hey, I got it! And, uh... I actually tried recording this once before already. Part 2, that is. And... Uh-oh. And after how... how badly... Part 2 of World 5 went... Um, I didn't want to have another bad Part 2. And it was turning out horrible. I was dying constantly. And I don't mind dying on these on these videos. I mind it when I spend like 15 minutes on one level because I constantly die. And it's not because the levels are so difficult. I mean, they are difficult. But that wasn't the reason why I was dying. I was dying simply because I was playing horribly. And and playing stupidly. Hmm, I thought there was something in those blocks. Well... That's exactly what I did on my first run, too. I ran into him. Whoa! <laughs> that was entirely unintentional. So hopefully my extremely horrible playing isn't carrying over. Another thing, uh, I accidentally, um, loaded my previous save state. And so it would have been another one of those, uh, where I left off in the video would not be the same as where I was starting on the next video. And I didn't really want to do that. So, you must wait till the tunnel is in view, and you must ride this down in order to be able to finish that without a tail. This is why you want firepower, because you can get all those coins. Which I think is actually a really cool little bonus that you can get for finishing the stage with firepower. On my first run, I probably died on this level like five or six times. And mostly because I was just playing stupidly. Once again, I don't mind dying. It, it adds a little bit more suspense if you know that I'm not doing a perfect run. But, uh... It was... it was frustrating me. Whoa. And I feel like it was harming my commentary as well. Because I was disappointed in myself, and I was disappointed in the quality that I was giving you guys. Well? Something had to give there. We were getting kind of locked into a loop.
I actually had like the entire. Whoa! This is not the same one. And uh, that is not a star. I, I remembered that there was in Super Mario All Stars, the remake of this game. I remembered that there was a card that didn't have stars on the bottom, but I thought it was just added to to that. I didn't think it was actually in this original version of the game. Apparently it still is. So, last time when I played this level, which you guys, again, won't be seeing. Um... I'm gonna leave one of those. I let myself get bombarded with blocks, and so I didn't have my raccoon tail anymore. Uh oh. I nearly just ran off the edge. Huh. I thought it was above the age. But maybe not. Nope, there it is. That's what the P block's for. It's directly above the P block. I thought it was above the H. Mostly because the H just it doesn't it doesn't fit. It's just it's weird. But anyway. I also used a P-Wing on this level. I accidentally used another P-Wing also. Later. Because I was looking through my inventory. And... No, I'm not going to get enough running area. But there is a 1-Up above the... Above the, the right block. The right wall. Uh, just past the tunnel. And there's a turtle, too. I can actually show it to you if I finish the stage with a tail. There is a lot of a lot of unnecessary things in the water here. And uh yeah, I I don't want to do it. Damn it. Neat little trick. All of the black nippers will change into coins if you get... Oh god. Yeah, it's kind of a... This level is kind of a maze because... The ending is not where you thought it would be. Because it's not all the way to the right. Uh, it looks like I won't actually be, uh, showing you guys the 1-Up because I lost my tail. This is the exit. But right above this wall is the turtle and the 1-Up. I got a star! This run is going a little bit better. That's good. I died on this level probably a good ten times. Uh, oops. At, at least twice was on purpose. The rest of them was just because I'm stupid. Oops. This, this level, um, has something special in it. I didn't actually think that would land up there. Uh, we we figured out a trick in the last level that the P blocks will transform these guys into coins. Yeah, the last one's not important. 
And that is the only way you can make it down that pipe. A star will not do, because you just land on top of them with a star. I don't care about the coins as much as I care about this pipe. Because this pipe has... Ta-da! The first hammer suit that you can get in a level in the game. And I lost it almost immediately in my first run because I was screwing around with, with these guys. And I was trying to hit them with my hammers and, and then I got my, on my second try, I didn't make that gap. So, hey, another star. And that was a much better run. I didn't have to die on it like eight times just to do it. <sighs> I'd very much like to make it through this fortress with this hammer suit. I don't know if I'll be able to though, because it's a challenging fortress. Um, there's also secrets up above, like, right where I'm at right now. If you got a tail of some sort. I used a P-Wing in the last, last thing because I didn't have my hammer suit because I gave up on it. Oh, no, 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 no. You can actually kill these guys, I'm pretty sure. Yep. I'm not going to hit that because it's an item and I want to stand there. And being able to kill those guys will actually... Oops. Come here. <laughs> this is kind of sad. It shouldn't have taken me that long just to kill that one. Boo. And there is a... Oh, almost got him. Got him. There are some coins up above this here right here if you have a tail of some sort whether that's a raccoon tail a p-wing or a uh, tanuki suit yeah i'm taking it very slowly because i don't want to screw up and i nearly just walked off the edge which would have made me very sad no 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 no! I nearly landed on them. I forgot that this door didn't immediately lead to this area. Are you kidding me? That's what I... Ah! That's what I fucking get. I was trying to shoot him with my hammers, and I realized it wasn't going to work. Oh, crap. I realized the first time I recorded this, or I looked through my inventory and I couldn't find my Hammer Brother suit. That's why I ended up using a P-Wing, because I accidentally pushed the wrong button. It didn't dawn on me that the reason why is because it's been replaced by other items. And that kind of pisses me off that I've allowed myself to lose that. I'm just using a bunch of items that I don't need so I can clear room. It's because I'm getting a lot more, uh, end cards than I normally get. Well, not getting that. Normally, I don't get this many end, uh, matching cards. 
Oh, now you, now you get to see the secret. Whatever, I'll take it. Yeah, that was kind of stupid. Nope. Damn it. <sighs> I was doing so good, too. I was doing so good with my Hammer Brother suit and everything, and then I screwed it up at the end, and I don't really mind losing my my tail right there. I don't I don't want to, but I don't mind it. Okay, okay, okay. Wait for him to come over here where I have room. All right. <sighs> well, that went a little bit better. Good enough. And another fucking end card. That's okay, I don't really want the items that badly anyway. See, if I had a hammer suit, I would use it right now. But I don't. He's a little seal! I wonder if he was in the Mushroom Navy. Yeah, that was a horrible joke. If you, do, if you didn't understand it, that's fine. It was a horrible joke. <laughs> I actually did this uh, with a P-Wing on my first run through it because I accidentally used a P-Wing when I was looking for my Hammer Brother suit that I couldn't find. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's a hole right there. It's one of the only times that there's a, a definite hole on a regular Doom ship. Okay, okay, okay. We're almost there. Time to fight. Um, this guy. His name might be Lemmy. And he's my favorite Koopaling because you can bounce on his balls. He's the only one, besides Wendy, that shoots things other than wand beams. Except he's a lot easier than Wendy. Because you can actually jump on his his balls and and you can't jump on Wendy's rings. But his they 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 behave a little bit differently. So you just kind of have to know how to use it. I think this king kind of looks like a koala. Greetings! I am well. Please retrieve the magic whistle hidden in the darkness at the end of the third world. I have enclosed a jewel that helps protect you. She is referring to level 3 of world 1, not world 3, like it says. 
the very first whistle, you have to uh, crouch on the white block and duck behind the scenery so you can go behind the stage exit and find a secret mushroom house with the first whistle. And that's what she's referring to. Okay, this this episode went much better. This this means there will be four more episodes of Super Mario Bros. 3. Um so I hope you I hope you join me with in those four episodes. Cause I've been, I haven't really enjoyed playing this game again. Because like I've said before, it is my favorite game of all time. And uh I hope you are also enjoying Maximum Kirby March, which is going on right now. And I hope you continue joining me on the march of the Kirbys. This has been Memory Lane Gaming, and I've been your host, the Tanuki. Join me next time for more gaming goodness. Bye.